You want to start off by getting some one gallon paint stir sticks from Home Depot. I used a total of six of these paint sticks. And I'm going to be using some jumbo craft sticks to hold these paint sticks all together. I just used some hot glue and placed those craft sticks right onto the back of the paint sticks. Now I'm going to be showing you how to do a chippy finish look. So you want to start off with a darker base color. And I'm using folk art chalk paint in the color Java. And I'm using a baby wipe to apply this color right on. Once applied, you want to just allow that to completely dry. I then am using some petroleum jelly. So I just put a generous amount on the board. No need to let that dry. And now you want to go over everything with the top coat. So I'm using folk art chalk paint in the color white. And for this step, you want to make sure that this completely dries. Once dry, grab a scraper tool. You could find these at any hardware store or Dollar Tree. And just start gliding that scraper all throughout that surface. And now you have a beautiful and rustic chippy finish look. I then am using this transfer. It's a reusable transfer from Chalk Couture. I'm just using the Cottontail Farms, applying that to the top of the paint sticks, using my small squeegee to apply some Chalkology black paste. Once I had everything covered, I then just do the peel and reveal. And look at how quick and easy and awesome this came out. Wait till you see this bunny. So I just do the same thing, find a good placement, smooth it out with my fingers to make sure that there are no air bubbles. Use my small squeegee to apply the paste and just continue applying that chalk paste until that silk screen on the transfer is completely covered. And then you're ready for the big peel and reveal. So much detail is in this bunny. It is just absolutely gorgeous. So next I'm going to be showing you how I made a tiny little basket using these Jenga blocks that I got from Dollar Tree. So first I'm just lining 10 of them right next to each other. And then to be able to hold those together, I just hot glued a craft stick right onto the back. And then I'm just hot gluing two Jenga blocks together. Again, holding it up with a cut up Jenga block. And I made two sets of the Jenga blocks that only have the two together. And before putting these all together, I did want to give them a nice stained look. So I am using folk art chalk paint in the color Java. Again, using that baby wipe to apply this color on because it leaves you with this gorgeous stained wood look without any of those harsh chemicals, especially if you're working indoors during this cold season. So now let's go ahead and put this all together. So I'm just placing the two blocks on both sides of that longer block that I created. And then to cover up the bottom, I just hot glued a couple more craft sticks and then just cut up some smaller pieces for extra support. And now I'm just going to apply this to the bottom of my sign. So I'm using some hot glue, just holding that down until it is completely adhered. I then got these carrots from Dollar Tree and I just made some little bows out of some buffalo check ribbon. So I just hot glued my bows to the top of these carrots. And this is going to be my filler for that basket on the bottom of that sign. And how absolutely gorgeous did this come out? I hope this inspires you to create your own. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much. And I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Thanks, bye.